On Wednesday the 18th of October, I made the trip from the North East down to the NEC in Birmingham for the Solar and Storage live event. One of the main reasons for going was to meet up with a group of YouTubers that I've been talking to for a while, and I was also interested to see whether there was any new tech on offer. We all had a great day and it was fantastic to meet everyone in person. I even got to meet George Clark as well. In this video I'll give a brief overview of the show and discuss one of the big announcements from the show which was the Give Energy EV charger being announced, which at long last is now available to pre-order, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Danny V Solar and on this channel you can follow my journey to all things solar, renewables, energy tariffs and much more. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel for more similar content like this. Speaking of journeys, I made the three hour trip to the NEC in Birmingham earlier this week. When I got there I met up with Gary from Gary Does Solar, Tim and Kat from Tim and Kat's Green Walk and Oliver from Speak to the Geek. And yes, they're all as nice in real life as they appear on the YouTube channels. Great people with a shared goal of wanting to help people enter in the world of renewables and EVs and demystify some of the complexities when it comes to the new tech. They're all quite ahead of me in terms of time and experience on YouTube, so I've got quite a way to catch them up, but hopefully you find all of our content useful and complimentary to each other. We even had quite a few people that recognised us at the show, which was great to talk to people, and thank you for introducing yourself if you came across and spoke to us. It really is appreciated. I drove my Tesla down for the trip and it wasn't quite as smooth as I'd hoped in terms of charging but I made it home in one piece, I didn't run out of charge and it didn't spontaneously self combust while I was driving down there. If you want to see a video on that journey and what happened let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to create one. Anyway back to the show and I was genuinely amazed how big the show was and how many different stands there were. It's wonderful to see the growth in that sector now and there's multiple choices for those looking to install solar, home batteries, inverters and EV chargers. Absolutely spot for choice now. One of the guys we spoke to on one of the stands said that last year there was 10 battery suppliers. This year there was 42, so massive growth in this area. It did feel like little like there was a, a bit of copy and paste between each of the stands and a lot of the batteries looked very similar, so potentially just rebranded. And I do wonder how many of these companies will fall by the wayside with the increased competition in this area. I can't help but think that the likes of Give Energy and My Energy, who were early movers in this space and already have a market share, will be the ones that continue to dominate and have plenty of longevity as long as they keep improving the products and advancing the technology. Speaking of new products, one of the big announcements from the show was that Give Energy now have their EV charger on pre-order and it will be available from the general public in early November. I've mentioned the charger a few times in my previous videos and although I would have loved to have waited for the Give Energy EV charger, when I bought the car in June, I just couldn't wait that long to have a home charger installed. I would have been relying on public charging, which is both more awkward and more expensive than just charging at home on a night. I think the nearest Tesla supercharger is about 10 miles away from me. So in the end, I went for the Zappi, which, although it works really well, lacks the integration with the Give Energy infrastructure that the Give Energy charger would, would have given. I'd love to change to a Give Energy charger in the future, but we'll wait and see. It seems really pointless at the moment ripping the Zappi out. The charger itself looks great and has the traditional Give Energy colour and shape to it. It's quite a neat little unit as well and comes in at a very competitive price point of around about £500, which is quite a bit cheaper than the Zappi as well, so well done Give Energy on that one. I'm sure it'll be a big hit for those looking to get an EV charger installed. I won't go into too much more detail about the show itself because Oliver from Speak to the Geek did a great summary of it all and the main highlights, so I'll link that in the description of this video. Also, be sure to check out the other guys' YouTube channels that I'll also link in the description who are there at the show. They have some great content all the time, and hopefully you find that useful if you're not already subscribed. On the Speak to the Geek channel, he also got his hands on a Give Energy EV charger, and he's done a review on that as well, so make sure you check that out. Anyway, just a short one this week. I'll leave you with a bit more footage from the show. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and let me know in the comments if you're interested in getting the Give Energy EV charger. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.